Hey everybody, John here with O'Reilly Auto Parts, and today I'm going to show you how to install a new battery in your vehicle. In most cases, it's a pretty simple job. Before you start, check your service manual for the location of your battery. It could be easy, but it could also be in the trunk or behind the wheel well. And if you find that it's going to be more complicated than you thought, we would be happy to recommend a professional technician in your area. Typically, the only tools that you'll need are a wrench to loosen the battery bolts and nuts, as well as a ratchet and socket to take out the battery hold down. When you get the battery reinstalled, chances are your radio presets and other operator preferences will be cleared out. In some vehicles, you may have to re-enter a security code to get the stereo working again. Some manufacturers may recommend the use of a memory saver to prevent issues once the new battery is installed, so always be aware of the manufacturer's specifications before the installation. Today, I'm going to be changing out the battery on this 2013 Toyota Tacoma. First, you'll see here that we've got three things that we'll need to detach to get this battery out. This is the battery hold down, which helps keep the battery in place. Then we've got the cables attached to each of the two battery terminals. We'll start by loosening this hold down and slipping out the curved end of the bolt. And we'll just swing that back out of the way. Now when you go to disconnect the cables from the battery terminals, you'll want to disconnect the negative cable first. It's the one connected to the negative terminal, which is marked with a minus sign. Just loosen this enough to slip the connector off and move it to the side out of your way. Make sure that it's not resting on bare metal. Same thing with the positive cable. Loosen this connector enough that you can slip it off and move that to the side. And at this point, you should be ready to lift this battery out very carefully, just trying to keep it upright. Once you've got your new battery, you're going to ease it back into the tray. And we're going to reattach the cables in the reverse order. We'll place these battery washers to prevent corrosion and brush any corrosion from the cable ends so we get a good connection. And we're going to reattach the cables in reverse order. The positive will go on first, be sure to slip that down as far on the post as you can before you tighten it. Then the negative. Now we'll just reposition this hold down. Slip the curved end of the bolt into the hole and tighten that down. Now for the moment of truth. Success. Everything you need to complete this job, including the battery, tools, or memory saver, are available at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or online at O'ReillyAuto.com. Our DIY videos are designed to help answer questions that we get in our stores each and every day. If you found this one helpful, subscribe to our channel to see the latest DIY jobs. And we'll see you again soon.